This is my Dodge Viper. My grandma gave it to me when I was maybe five years old. And ever since then, it's been my definition of what a sports car is. I was riding the up to speed on the Viper when something occurred to me. Why red? I asked my boss for some riding advice and he said, you're a funny rider, Nolan. Go forth and write about it. You do well and we'll make your funny video. To me, red means fast. It's the quintessential color of a sports car. It's the national racing color of Italy, and they're like the most passionate people there are. But every country has a color for their race cars. You got British racing green, Germany is silver, America's white and blue. So why didn't Prince write about a little white and blue Corvette? Apparently, we gotta go back to 1907. I guess there's this newspaper in Paris who wanted to make some news, and they challenged the whole world to a big race. We ask this question of car manufacturers in France and abroad. Is there anyone who will undertake to travel this summer from Pekin to Paris by automobile? Whoever he is, he will certainly deserve to have his name spoken as a byword in the four quarters of the earth. <laughs> five cars showed up, which isn't that surprising because it's 1907 and there's probably five cars in the world. Also, racing cars is a pretty new concept. The Italian entry was an Itala Mod, which made a massive 45 horsepower. Actually, for 1907, that's kind of a lot. The Itala Mod also sported a brand new coat of scarlet red paint. Red's actually a really practical choice for a long distance race because one, people can spot you if you fall off a cliff, and two, it was the cheapest. The reason it's so cheap is because the pigment we used to make it is literally in the dirt. It's dirt cheap. <laughs> Anyway, it was like 9,000 miles to Paris. They had a full tank of gas, half pack of cigarettes, it's dark, and they're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. And hit it, they did. Didn't even matter if there are no roads and that no car had ever made the journey before. It sounds impossible, but the scrappy Italians made it to Paris. They completed the trek in 61 days and beat the second place team by one hour. Over 9,000 miles, over two months. The margin of victory was decided by 60 minutes. That's incredible. I thought this was even more impressive when I learned that the Italians actually went up to Moscow for a little bit, hung out with some czars, then came back down. It's been a great time up here, Vlad. Thanks for the vodka recipe, and I'll see you later, dude. <laughs> The team returned home as heroes, and in recognition of their monumental achievement, Italy adopted Rosso Corso Red as their national motorsport color. The same color as their Itala Mod race car. And it's the same color as like Ferraris, Maseratis, and Alfa Romeos. All the Italian cars, they use this color. But red doesn't just mean Italian to me. My Viper's red, it's not Italian. Humphrey's face is red, and he's not Italian. So what's the deal? The fact is, red brings many emotions with it. And that's not just conjecture, that's science. Countless studies have found that red has a measurable effect on the human brain. One study found that if a team or competitor is wearing red, they stand a better chance of winning. And that's not just limited to people either. In many species of primates, red facial markings are a sign of dominance and key to finding a mate. What's up, lady apes? Researchers asked men to rate a woman's attractiveness on a scale, and women wearing red were perceived as more attractive. In fact, the woman didn't even have to be wearing red. Her picture could be in a red picture frame, and that was enough. Check out the frame on that one. Studies have also shown that red is intrinsically threatening and pretty much means danger. Researchers found that small monkeys were far less likely to eat food given to them by people wearing red as opposed to green or blue. Which makes sense because in the wild, red plants are poisonous, red bugs try to sting you, and if there's a lot of red coming out of you, you're probably gonna die. Red also has great historical significance. There's this cave in France where 25,000 years ago, cavemen were making paintings of deer, horses, and woolly mammoths with red clay paint. In ancient Egypt, red was a symbol of life and health and victory. And they used to paint themselves red for festivals and wear red jewelry. So why is red the ultimate color for a sports car? I think it's because everything we see in red, we can also see in a sports car. Like, a sports car can be dangerous, it can be threatening, but it can have a romantic quality to it as well. A sports car can be sexy. We use words like attractive and elegant and go so far to say that a car has a personality. You also feel genuine passion when you're behind the wheel. There's such a wide spectrum of what red can mean, and depending on the context, red works for almost any emotion. And a sports car evokes more feeling than any other car. Red heightens whatever features are already in the car thanks to psychology baked into our subconscious and a collective memory of our past. It's the ultimate color for the ultimate car.
Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hope you guys like the show. We're gonna be doing it every week. This show answers the questions you never thought to ask. Whatever happened to Pontiac? Where'd racing stripes come from? What are some questions I can't even think of? What makes you go, hmm, yeah, that's kind of weird. We'll, we'll figure it out together.